surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Amos 3 verse 7 The following is a compilation of prophecies about the election of Dr. William Samoy Ruto as President of the Republic of Kenya, which was accurately and consistently prophesied since June 2019 by the Servant of God, Dr. Ian Glovo. Prophecy number one was on the 16th of June, 2019. While I was interceding for Kenya during the course of this week, the Spirit of God spoke to me. He said, he said we must pray against the spirit of betrayal and intrigue at the highest mountain in Kenya. God says to those who rule over Kenya, when he makes you a Moses, just like your father was a Moses in your nation, he has given you a Joshua. He is the one who caused your Joshua to stand by you through thick and thin, through your trials. God says do not betray your Joshua after he has helped you to secure your seat of power for all these years. God says it is this Joshua that is the grace from him to continue from where you are going to live. To continue what you started together with your Joshua several years ago. This is the will of God. God wants to use a prominent son of that nation whose name is Bill, and the initial of the other name is R. Will those who make decisions choose what God has chosen? Will Kenya choose what God sees as the best for them, or they will choose to be in the permissive will? Prophecy number two was on the 1st of September, 2019. I saw in a vision many people crying, I asked the Spirit of God why these people were crying. The Lord said, pray for this country in East Africa. Pray that the nation does not miss her time of visitation. There is a spiritual awakening appointed for the nation in question. But for the spiritual awakening to take root and be established, these people must choose what God has chosen. They must see what God has seen. The Lord God says he has given the nation in question a rare chance to have an intercessor live right in their state house in the near future to pray for their nation, to experience God's best for them. God says soon the nation in question will face a choice between traditionalism and the heart of faith through Christ's spirit of prophecy. God says a certain man he has chosen must ascend to the seat of power for him to use the anointed woman associated with this man to birth spiritual alignment and renewal in the nation in question. The nation in question has many things called or identified by its founding father, including an airport and a place for convening meetings or ceremonies. Thus says the Spirit of God. Amen. Prophecy number three was on the 1st of January, 2020. The Spirit of God says, in the year 2020, in an East African country, the rivals and the political enemies of a serving vice president will work tirelessly to have him either fired from government or arrested. This is a campaign of humiliation and elimination of the one whom the Lord has chosen. I have spoken about this personality in the past and his assignment for the nation concerned. I saw in the spiritual realm that if the leader of that nation betrays this man, God will cause all of his liquors to be reversed by those who will come after him. This is what God has shown me. God wants a praying president with a praying wife at the state house of the country concerned. This is what God has preferred. Will those in power choose the one that God has chosen? Are the people in the nation concerned going to choose the one that God has chosen? I see demonic altars 
that were erected by the founding fathers of the concerned nation, fighting tirelessly against the arrival of this man. It is mainly because of the wife of this man that the demonic altars are fighting against the arrival of this man. The wife is before God Almighty and his angels like a firebrand. The demonic princes of that nation actually fear the wife more than the husband, intercessors of that nation, and those who are beyond that nation must pray for God's will to prevail. Hallelujah. It's a very clear message about an East African country. We can elaborate it in future if God wants us to do that. Prophecy number four was on the 12th of February, 2020. Those who care for God's will to be done pertaining to the East African country with regards to matters of governance, the Spirit of God says you must form prayer teams and organize regular prayers for the person whom God has chosen. This is what the Spirit of God is saying. He is saying there will be intense opposition to the rise of this man. I, I spoke the same message on that one December. The Lord says, have I not chosen this nation in East Africa to be a beacon of hope and renewal as well as to provoke Israel and all other nations to repentance. The Lord has regarded this nation as one regards with favor a rare flower in a, in a garden. The question still remains, will you choose what I have chosen, says the Spirit of God. Let us watch and pray. Prophecy number five on the 16th of February, 2020. So I'm going to talk about this East African country. Well, some people may be wondering, why is he so interested in this East African country? Because of the revival that I've seen in the spirit. This, this country, they can delay the revival, but they can't deny God the revival that he wants. Look at one and say they can delay the revival. But they cannot deny God the revival that he has intended. This East African country, before me, number one, we released a prophetic message for an East African country on 1 September 2019 last year about a spiritual awakening. And the thing that we were seeing which was going to cause the spiritual awakening to be aborted if those who are descending were not careful. Number two, we released a prophetic message for an East African country on 1 January 2020 this year. And finally, we released a prophecy for an East African country on 12 February 2020. So this is the last message that I am releasing pertaining to this subject. Look at your neighbor and say he's releasing the last message. Because the message has got some in things which are not interesting, which if they choose to be stubborn, they are going, definitely going to see them. Still on the East African country, God says to those who have the power to choose and chart the way forward for this nation, whatever choices you make, you will pay a price if you choose what God has not chosen. The Spirit of God says, choice of traditionalism and the upholding of ancient demonic strongholds will definitely have consequences for both now and the future. They will have consequences both now and in the future. I saw in the spiritual realm three signs that God will unleash over the East African nation in question. As soon as wrong choices have been made and confirmed. I saw three watcher angels with control over the three signs and that are watching over that nation. The current leader in that nation is forgetting that the power he has at the present moment, he got it from God, 
during trouble sometimes. God says, if you destroy my plan for this nation and the world, I will destroy your liquors completely. And you will finish your years on earth in pain, tears, and betrayal as well. Let us stand up and pray. Let's return to Kenya now, where the Supreme Court has been ruling on the result of the presidential election, the disputed presidential election. Let's bring in Malcolm Webb in Nairobi. I believe we have a decision now from the Supreme Court on uh, the victory of uh, William Ruta. Kenya's Chief Justice Martha Komei has announced here at the court uh, that the seven Supreme Court judges unanimously agreed uh, to uphold the announcement of the Electoral Commission uh, of William Ruto as the president-elect of Kenya. It went through, uh, she went through the petition submitted by his main opponent, Raila Odinga, and other rights groups uh, and rejected all of the complaints uh, citing that there was inadequate evidence and other reasons uh, and that the court didn't have a reason uh, to nullify the election as it had done five years ago uh, when Raila Odinga filed a petition uh, and the same Supreme Court uh, overturned the election and ordered a rerun. On this occasion, it has not. We're waiting to find out uh, what the reaction will be right. uh, of supporters of Ruto and Raila, uh, but both of the leaders have said that they will respect the judgment uh, that is coming here from the court. The servant of God, Dr. Ian Lovu, would like to thank all the saints and intercessors in Kenya and the world over who heeded the call to prayer for the nation of Kenya. May the almighty God bless you. The servant of God and Divine Kingdom Baptist Ministries would like to congratulate His Excellency Dr. William S. Ruto on being elected the fifth President of Kenya. <laughs>